Is the U.S. dollar and its dominance as a reserve currency under threat? If you ask countries that are involved in a trade war with the U.S. or on the receiving end of U.S. sanctions, answer it would be a definite yes. But U.S. dollar and its appeal has been on the decline for a while. Russia has even come out and said the dollar days are numbered as a global trade currency. Aside from waging devastating wars, imposing economic sanctions has for decades been another means used by the U.S. to get what it wanted. To pile up the pressure, the U.S. has on a number of occasions put a ban on using the dollar in transactions with the targeted states. Iran, Turkey and Russia are the latest countries hit with a raft of U.S. punitive measures, with Tehran facing a ban on using the dollar. By levying such a sanction, Washington aims to cut Iran off from the global economy, where the dollar is commonly used during international transactions. The USA is a military power and a bullying, arrogant one. And here again, its days are not over, but they are numbered uh, because the world is changing. New alliances are coming into being. Alarmed at a similar punitive action by the U.S., Turkey and Russia have now joined Iran in using national currencies in international trade. On a visit to Turkey, Russia's top diplomat said his country backs using national currencies to settle bilateral trade deals with Turkey, China and Iran. Sergey Lavrov also predicted that the role of the U.S. dollar as the currency of global trade will decline over time and eventually lead to its demise. And now there are a number of countries that are already trading in their local currencies. Here's a list. Iran is one of them, and so is its neighbor Turkey. Now both have been subjected to U.S. sanctions. Add China to the U.S. tariff penalties, and Russia is planning to see why these countries are opting to ditch the dollar. The use, uh, the U.S. use of tariffs and sanctions, or the overuse of these two, adds more pressure on the U.S. dollar, leading to its losing its appeal. And we cannot forget that the U.S. is involved in a number of trade and tariff disputes around the world, like with the European Union. This raises the possibility of the U.S. dollar to be replaced as a reserve currency of choice. Iran and Turkey have been trading in local currencies since October 2017 as part of an agreement between the two countries' central banks. This comes as the value of both countries' currencies has been plummeting recently. Among other issues, a fresh wave of U.S. sanctions is said to have played a role in the devaluation of the Turkish lira, the Iranian rial, and the Russian ruble. However, Ankara, Tehran, and Moscow seem pretty much determined to shun the U.S. dollar. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has recently come down hard on what he calls the U.S. attempts to unilaterally impose its rules on global finance. He said Turkey has made advancements in its ties with Russia in accordance with mutual interests. Shortly after Erdogan's remarks, the Kremlin said Russia favored bilateral trade with all countries in their local currencies. What seems to be a concerted effort made by Iran, Turkey and Russia to mitigate the effects of U.S. sanctions comes at a time Washington is engaged in a trade war even with its allies. The Americans are overusing their military power. They've not yet succeeded in, for example, Afghanistan. They think that they can do everything by military power and they're done. And they're overusing their um, sanctioning power. Frankly, they're getting right up the nose of everybody in the world because everybody knows that they could be next. Once you start playing this game, overplay it. Everybody knows that you could be next. They overplay the diplomatic card, the economy card, the moral card, the critical card, and they overplay their abuse of the SWIFT banking system and the use of the dollar as a reserve for currency. Given the circumstances, more countries are expected to take a tough stance against what many see as the U.S. abuse of the role of the dollar as a global reserve currency.